So it all began when I left my corporate career as a training and development manager and I was trying to figure out what to do next. A really good friend of mine said to me, Lisa, you should be a coach. And my immediate reaction was, it's not a serious profession. I want a real career. I want people to take me seriously. And the reason I said that was not because I didn't know what coaching was, because I had been coaching in my corporate career and I had been even training coaches and working with, with managers and how to coach their teams. But it was just this idea and this observation that I'd seen that people who call themselves coaches very often had read a good book or done a three-hour program and then pretty much put their name on their door and started charging money for their coaching. And to me that seemed just unprofessional. I didn't see any sense of, of, of real learning and experience behind it and I didn't see any type of standards in the profession. Well, the voice that kept telling me you should be a coach was getting louder and louder. So finally I signed up for a coaching program to really understand what this was about. I chose a coaching program that was ICF accredited because I was looking for something that, that was substantial. And I understood that the ICF was the biggest and um, most um, professional organization in coaching internationally. The program was amazing and here's the thing, I realized during the program the differentiation between really great coaches and coaches just, that just weren't quite there yet. And what I noticed was not just their skills and their experience but each coach that was really amazing, they were also accredited by the ICF. They took it very, very seriously. They took their standards and their ethics very seriously and so they made that extra effort to become accredited. Now I experienced the difference between these types of coaches, not because, um, because of what was written down on the paper or because of the accreditation, but because my personal experience, I could tell the difference. This was substantial, this was really professional, and I could tell that this is what I wanted. So when I finished this program, the first thing I did was work towards accreditation, my own personal accreditation. But it didn't end there. I also realized that if I was to really appeal to my own clients, I would need to get my programs accredited too. And so I went ahead and I created the Certified Story Coach program, which is an accredited program, accredited by the ICF. So I know that I can relax in the knowledge that people who are, are, are considering taking the program know that it's gone through some kind of standardizing process and that it's at, it's at a level that they might be looking for. Now that I've gone back to work with corporate very often in a coaching, mentoring and, and consulting capacity, I've realized how important the ICF accreditation is too. Some places they don't ask for it, but there are other places internationally where if you're not an accredited coach, they're not going to consider you seriously for the role. And it's always really helpful to talk about the International Coach Federation because you know that you've got a really substantial established body behind you who, um, who you're connected to. There was once a man who went for a walk on a beach. Up ahead he saw a figure that at first he thought was dancing but as he got closer he saw that it was a little girl. She was picking up something and throwing it into the ocean. As he got even closer still he saw that it was starfish. He, she kept picking up the starfish and throwing it back to the water in fact, the beach was scattered with hundreds or maybe thousands of starfish. He went up to the little girl and he said to her, What are you doing? You know that you can't possibly throw them all back. You can't possibly make a difference. The little girl just bent down and picked up another starfish and threw it into the ocean. She said, For that one, I made a difference. I think most coaches are just trying to get out there into the world and make a difference. And sometimes I feel like the ICF is the body that helps me see other people on that beach throwing the starfish because we're all committed to the standards. We're all committed to doing a really great job. We're committed to making this a professional, serious career.